The commons you must know as ethical hackers. Ping is a network utility to test reachability of nodes on the internet, but you can use it to test the resource capability of nodes. You can increase the size of the ping packet. The normal ping packet is 64 bytes, 56 bytes of data and 8 bytes of packet header. Ping -s size of the packet and then the IP address of target. The packet size is the size of the data which we assign in the ping command. That number always plus 8 bytes of header. You can use dash f flag to flood tons of packets to the target host. As a normal user, there is a limitation on the minimum to millisecond interval within the packets. I ran it as a root. Now let's compare the number of packets with the previous one without dash f flag. Sometimes firewalls block the ICMP packet. You can use HPing3 to send HTTP traffic to the target. HPing3-S for TCP packet, dash V for WordPress to provide more information, dash P for port number and AD is for HTTP port, and then IP address of the target host. You also can use a timeout in the beginning of the command to stop it after a certain time. I add timeout 10 in the beginning of the previous command. This run the hping3 commands for 10 seconds and it stopped. For reconnaissance on the target host, use a map. Dash S V is for this service discovery on the target, dash capital O enable OS detection, dash PN treat all hosts as online and skip host discovery. You also can scan for vulnerability by using dash dash script vol and then IP address of target. To avoid to be detected, use source port attribute and choose safe port number such as 53, which is a DNS. Use decoy to change your IP address to the random one to avoid detection. Dash D R N D 10 and the target IP address. This command generate 10 random IP address as a source IP address for Nmap traffic. What web is a web scanner that recognize web technologies including content management system, blogging platforms, statistic analytics packages, JavaScript libraries, web servers, and embedded devices. You can install it with sudo app install what web. By passing URL of the website, you can get the details information of website. Use Nikto, an open source web server scanner, to perform vulnerability scanning against web servers, including dangerous files and programs, as well as outdated version of web server software. You can install it with apps install Nikto, and to run it, Nikto -h, h and the URL of the website. To enumerate subdomains of websites, use sublist3r. It helps penetration testers and bug hunter collect and gather subdomains for targeted domain. To install it, first clone the repository from Git. Go to sublist3r directory in your machine, install the requirements, and then you run the Python script to enumerate subdomains of websites. To check the public exploit, use exploit database. You can download it by cloning the Git repository or in Kali Linux simply with app install exploit db. Let's check help page. It includes some example. The first example is listing an exploitable vulnerability on ancillary function drive. 
It's a driver for WinCycle, which is a program used to connect the computer to the internet. You can search into exploit database from the command line. For example, search for SSH exploit. SSH hack is a bonus for the one who watched this video till here. Did you know you can run a command on a remote host by SSH? Add your command in a single code after the IP address of the remote host. For instance, who am I will print the user and if config will display the current network configuration in the remote host. 